Hey y'all, it's Alex and you are watching Peach Perfect. Thanks so much for tuning in. So today I have got an Amazon review. If anybody knows me, they know that I do a lot of shopping on Amazon. I love Amazon. Everything is so fast. Even through this whole quarantine thing, everything that's like, oh, it's going to take three to six weeks for your order to be there. Like three days later, it's still on my doorstep. So I do have a couple things that I want to review from Amazon today. But before I jump into the details, a couple of reminders. One, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Definitely hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot of awesome videos that you do not want to miss out on. Two, I do have an Amazon wish list. So if there is something in particular that you want to see me try on or review or be a guinea pig for, definitely check that out. I just updated a ton of stuff on it, some bikinis, some clothes, all different things. Um, and if there's something that you don't see on my list, but you see on Amazon, just send it to me in a link, um, you know, in an email and I can add it to the list. And three, I do have a Patreon account. So if there is a more exclusive side to me that you would like to see, definitely check out my Patreon. I post weekly exclusive selfies and videos that you're not going to find anywhere else. So first thing I want to review are these adorable little pants. Now, I want y'all to see up close kind of what the fabric looks like. So it's like this cool snake print and it's got like some white, some tan, and almost like some navy blue. So I love the colors, love the print. As you can see, um, for anybody that does not know, I am pregnant, I am almost 17 weeks. So I am definitely starting to get a little bit of a baby bump there. So things are not fitting me <laughs> like they used to, but that's why I love this because it is more high-waisted. So even as I grow, probably not full term, but even as I grow, I should be able to kind of fit into these because they are more high-waisted and it kind of hits above my bump. But it's got that, um, I think what everyone's calling it is like the paper bag um, top because it almost looks like, you know, you take a paper bag and you kind of crinkle it up. So it does kind of have the paper bag. So it's just an elastic waistband. Um, and it's kind of got the paper bag, little empire waist and it is, let me see if I can see. Yeah. <clears throat> so they are cropped. So really it hits me like right at the ankle. And this is exactly how I would wear this. I would put like a little cute crop top, whether it's like a tan or a white or even a black, I think would look good with it. And then I was thinking just a cute pair of pumps. So I absolutely love these pants. They did have them, I think there were two colors. So it was like the blue and then it was more of like a silvery gray. So you can get them in two different in two different colors. So I really like this. I love the way they fit. I think they're really cute. Just a fun summer go-to pant just because you can. You can throw on a crop top and a pair of little pumps or some, some flats and you're good to go. So I really love these pair of pants and they're so soft. They're like, they're like silk. I mean, they're, they're so, so, so comfortable on. So, so comfortable that I might even go get like the, the silvery gray pair. So that is that. A couple other things, not clothing related, but if y'all have been following me, um, I have talked about my battle with acne. So I have just got super active hormones. And so I, at the ripe age of 18, I started dealing with cystic nodular acne. I have had, and I could do a whole video on this because I have had so much done, um, so many different treatments and, and facials and um, chemical peels and different, different laser treatments, like where I shrunk the oil, the, the sebaceous oil glands on my face because not only am I like super hormonal, but I also produce a lot of oils. So my sebaceous oil glands were overactive. So, so many, so many, so many things. But one of my, one of my girlfriends um, from back home, I've been kind of using something for a couple years, but I, I'm always up to trying new ideas and new products. So she had recommended something that she had found that really worked for her. And I want to try it because I, I like my product that I've been using, but it's really harsh. And so I was hoping to find something that wasn't as, as harsh 
Like it can literally like bleach towels. <laughs> And I don't really like something that can bleach towels going on my body because our skin is the biggest organ. So I don't really like using something like that. So, um, I mean, it works and it really helps keep my, my skin clear, but I was hoping to find something a little more organic. So something that I've tried and I've done it for a couple days, so I don't have like the full review, but I'll keep y'all posted. Um, but so it's, botanic tree and basically it is a glycolic acid exfoliating cleanser it's got tea tree peppermint lavender shea butter seaweed willow bark and bamboo so it's very organic and it smells like heaven it smells like something you would have rubbed all over you like during a massage it is so relaxing smelling and i think a lot of that comes from like the peppermint and the lavender because i love that scent together um but you use it once a day, um, if, especially if you've got oily skin like me or acne prone skin like me. So I'm using this kind of in combination with the other thing to kind of break me in with using a new product. Because a lot of the times if you just jump from product to product, it can kind of exacerbate your skin and make it worse. So that is one thing that I have gotten. But like I said, I've only used it for a couple days. So I will kind of check back in with y'all once I've actually gotten the full review but love it so far. Love the way it makes my skin feel. My skin feels so smooth. It's real fine because it, it is an exfoliator. So it's, it's not, but it's not like some of the exfoliators that are like really, really grainy and gritty and are really harsh. This is very fine. So after you wash it off, your face feels so smooth. Oh my gosh. And it smells so wonderful. So I'm, I'm liking it so far. Hopefully it will stay that way. So there is that. Um, two more things and they kind of are in coordination with one another. So also if you've been following me for a while, you will also already, um, know that I have got really bad neck problems. So like eight years ago I had an accident and I almost broke my neck. So I've got permanent damage from my C1 to my C4 which are basically the vertebrae that can like are at the base of the skull. So they're the highest up on the spine and long story short, cause then I got in three more accidents, none of which were any of my fault. Um, I got hit rear end. I got T-boned rear ended, rear ended. And, um, since I've lived in Raleigh in like a two year time span. So when my neck was finally getting better from the first accident, bam, 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 three more. And so my neck is just like a big hot mess. And basically I got an MRI last fall. I do have arthritis. I've got degeneration and I've got slightly bulging discs. So I am in a lot of pain all the time. And, um, especially with what I do for a living, a dental hygienist, so I'm leaned over, I'm bent over and I have good posture when I'm at work, but it's still just a physically hard job with leaning over, bending over, arms up, shoulders up. It's just so I am always trying to find new things to help kind of my pain with my neck because it's pretty bad some days. My husband has to massage it and I do hot compresses and pain meds and it's just, it's just a big hot mess. So I got this pillow and it looks really funky and there's like all these different like little kind of cutouts. So what I've kind of been doing over the last like six months is I realized that my neck was killing me in the morning and it was because my nothing was supporting my neck in the middle of the night. So I've actually taken the pillow that I used, which is pretty firm and I've rolled up just a smaller blanket and I've stuck it like on the underside of the pillow that's closest to me so that I have more neck support. So this is kind of why I wanted something like this because I realized a huge difference. So as you can see, the side that my neck's going to lay on is much more raised and it kind of um, flattens out to a smaller piece where my head is going to sit. And that's to give my neck support in the middle of the night so that my spine is completely like in a straight line instead of like hunched up or hunched down. And so same thing, since I only got this stuff in a couple days ago, I haven't really been able to fully use it to the extent that I need to, to give a full, 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 awesome, horrible review. Um, but I think 
from what I can tell so far, I'm going to really like it because it's basically what I was trying to do anyway with my pillow. It's just kind of built in. And then these little things are just for your arms. So when you're laying there, you can kind of bend your arms. So I'm really excited about that. Can't wait to see if that really works. And the last thing I am going to be showing y'all, and again, like I said, it kind of goes with that, is this massager. So basically the way it works, and I don't have any plugs near me, so sorry, I can't plug it in and show y'all, but it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. So basically you can put this around your neck and your arms go in these little holes. You power it and you can change the way the little, the little rollers move. You can change, um, how fast it is. And then there's a, even a light fit, like little feature in there that you can have so you can see where they're moving, which I, I don't really think is that important, but all the other ones are. So the cool thing about this, oh, sorry, there's hair in my mouth. So the cool thing about this is it legit feels like someone is actually like needing your muscles. It feels like literal fingers and hands are massaging your shoulder. So you can use it for your neck. And the cool thing, because you've got these little things that you can hold on to, you can kind of turn it. Oh gosh, the right side of my neck is really killing me. So you can really work that side. Oh man, the left shoulder is really killing me. So you can kind of turn it. And it's not just for the neck. So you can do it all the way down your back. You can do it on your booty. You can do it on your quads. You can do it on your hamstrings. You can do it on your feet. So like if you're sitting down, you can put your feet on it. So this inside is like this little meshy part and these are the little knobs and they just turn and they're, they're just turning and then it does it for like a minute, minute and a half, turning in and then they turn out. I like the in for some, for some things like on my neck and then I like the out better on like my shoulders and my back. So best investment ever, especially, especially like cause sometimes my husband isn't around or sometimes like he's got stuff to do and he can't sit down and, and rub me and I get it. So this is a great thing, you know, especially like if you're, if you're single and you don't, you don't have somebody at home to massage you, or if you don't have the money to go and get a professional massage, because my husband, I'm just really lucky that he's, he's around most of the time and he can, and he's willing to thank goodness. But this thing is awesome. Even with him here, I just want to do this like in the morning and it does heat up too. So like in the morning when I wake up, cause my neck is usually really tight in the mornings, I'll take a hot shower and then I kind of use this for like the first like 10, 15 minutes and just really loosen up everything in my shoulders and my neck. Oh man, it feels so good. So definitely check that out. And it is just, it's not battery operated. So you do have to, to plug it in. That's why I was saying, I don't have any plugs nearby that I can show y'all, but awesome, awesome, awesome product. Really excited about that. So far, I've really loved that. Um, so that is all I have got for y'all today, but I hope that that was helpful. And as always, if you've got any questions or concerns about any of the products, reach out to me. I will link everything in the bio of this video so you can get direct access to it. Um, but I love everything so much. Love, love, love my pants, love all my goodies. So definitely check them out. As always, you can always find me on Instagram at my peach perfect and my personal account is badass glass. And I hope that y'all are staying safe and healthy and I will see y'all soon. Mwah.